Stand up straight, boy. I reckon Tyrion will get onto it. He reads people well. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we're back with more Game of Thrones. We are watching episode three of season two today. Season two has come out banging with more world growth, more characters, and we're just trying to keep up. Last episode was massive. Ended on a big cliffhanger. Before we get into that, quick disclaimer. Suffering a little bit, guys, with a bit of hay fever. Don't mind me sneezing and playing with my nose and... <laughs> just ignore him. Like, I am going to be doing this reaction. <laughs> also, we'll still be rocking these nice clunky headphones because your boy's been too eager to watch and hasn't spent the time to uh, organize the audio, but we will be getting there eventually. And I've been also focusing on editing, which you guys hopefully are happy about. But we soon we'll have our nice little sleek earphones back in and uh, I won't have Pudgy's wire running through my body, which would be great. <laughs> now, as for the last episode, it was pretty big cliffhanger. Yeah, we saw the White Walkers right at the end, apparently being fed the baby who we think that's a wildling tribe, but you well, were Well, we don't know sure. if they're being fed, but... Well, at least, at least given to. Yeah. It's the boys in particular, which is interesting. We know he has a mm. thing with his minions, daughters, wives, weird scenario that Game of Thrones loves to give us. <laughs> and that was pretty cool. And... The, a boy, Jon Snow, got captured. He got or found, what? yeah. Well, knocked yeah. out. We don't know what state he's in, but we do know they're pretty unforgiving people. And that guy, I don't remember his name, but the old man's not going to appreciate snooping, so... Nah. I mean, he didn't even like people looking at his orders, let alone... So let's just hope that uh, it doesn't end too poorly for my boy because I'm not ready to lose another warrior. <laughs> I believe last episode as well was a big one for Tyrion. He's made his entrance into the hand, really made his statement. I loved it! He's shown that he knows how to play the Game of Thrones and, you know, starting off by taking out the commander of the Night Watch, was it? Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. Sent him to the wall, boom... We were happy with that because he screwed that over, so screw him. And that was pretty cool. I think it was the City Watch, not the Night's Watch. Because okay. the Night's Watch is the wall. There's lots of watches, but one of the watches. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually really enjoying seeing Tyrion really put everyone in their place and just exercise his power as the hand of the king. And what I found interesting was when he was speaking with Bronn, after he exiled that commander, he asked him whether he would kill, kill an yeah kill an in innocent child. That question, and Bronn's answer was no. I'd ask how much first, and you kind of saw the wheels in Tyrion's brain just like ticking over. I don't think he really liked that response. I think it was a bit of a letdown. I think Tyrion still has a relatively stronger moral compass than a lot of the people playing the Game of Thrones, and the certain yeah. lines that he doesn't want to cross. And I think he was hoping that because it's sort of contradiction, he's that his current who he's mm. appointed to replace the old man is capable of the very same thing. Yeah. So, you know, I think that also made him question his values in that moment. But you know, the episode where they went on their like big adventure, he kind of knew that it was all about money in a sense. Cause he said, you know, if you're ever thinking about like going behind my back and, and selling me out I'll pay higher. So he knows that he, he definitely uses and abuses his status, but I think also it's one thing when he's dealing man to man. Yeah. And there's a certain line that he would hope some people draw, children. but obviously not everyone does. Yeah. As you can tell, he was pretty horrified by the murder of the children like that. He wasn't happy about that, you know, and he yeah. was actually ready to accuse Cersei until he realized that it was actually Joffrey. It's interesting, which in hindsight, we're talking about before was pretty obvious. Now, when you think about it, what were we saying that, um, Oh, you were saying there's a, there's a giveaway and we're like, Oh yeah, it's obvious. Just that, Cersei was obviously looking for Arya and Joffrey bringing up that rumour. He didn't want people to be speaking about that rumour of, you know, he is a Lannister rather than a Baratheon. So, yeah. But also that Rob was ha having children with other women. Well, I mean, it makes sense because that will weaken his claim to the throne. So he would want to silence those yeah. and even potential and future contenders. Yeah, so that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Well, little does Joffrey know that he can't kill Stannis. Yeah, so point. we've met Stannis now. We're starting to get used to him. I'm liking him more and more. I still need to see more, but he's intriguing. And I think in season one, it really felt like King's Landing was the be-all, end-all. Yeah. And then this season, we've already got introduced to so many potential contestants in their own right that are powerful and the world's a lot bigger. And all of a sudden, Joffrey and Cersei's little rule doesn't seem as significant. Like, they're still strong. But we've seen, you know, Renly with 100,000 fleet 
Stannis is building allies. You've got, you know, the King of the North, um, Rob, be building his armies as well. The King then you've Beyond got the Wall. King Beyond the Wall. There's just so much people at play, let alone the, you know, supernatural elements that are living in the world. So it looks like there's so much more at play. And then you've got also Daenerys and potentially the Dothraki people. Yeah. So the world is getting a lot bigger. And it's, as people who hate Cersei and Joffrey, probably like most of you did, it gives a little bit of relief to know that they're not actually as strong as they think they are. And they're probably going to get a reality check real soon, which we're looking forward to. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing Daenerys this episode. And I really want her to kind of not be struggling so much, you know? Like, it's not been easy. Like, we haven't seen much of her because all it is is a struggle, you know? But it would be cool to see her kind of coming to her own again. It's like she was lost when we first met her and she kind of found herself and her strength through Drogo. She hasn't gone back to complete defeat, but she has lost herself a bit again. So it will be nice to kind of see her regain that strength. Yeah, 100%, 100%. We also met Balon Greyjoy last episode and uh, Theon Greyjoy fondling with his sister. <laughs> Such a weird scene. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see what Balon's final command is. Like I know the sister is going to be commanding the ships and those men, but whose side is he going to be on? I think that's going to be interesting because he's another big player now too, isn't he? Medium player. Medium player. It's not huge, but he can be used as an ally yeah. for sure. I can't see him going to play Stannis' side unless there's a good request. And he's very much a prideful man that wants to be able to do his own thing. I don't think he can handle it on his own. And we do yeah. know that he hates the Starks at the moment. So honestly, I don't know if I can see him swinging towards the Starks. I think it's going to be a bit of a surprise for uh, Theon. Theon. Because Theon has been away from home for nine years. And I think a lot's changed. I mean, he already, we know he expected a much more grand, great welcoming. But when he came, no one really gave a shit who he was. Yeah. You know? How sad is that though? Because all those years that he's been with the Starks in the North, I mean, from even when we met him, he was so proud to be from the Iron Islands and always educating people on it. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, just this pride. And then to come home and just to get a slap in the face, essentially. Yeah, it definitely would hurt the ego. Guys, as always, want to say a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. We could not do what we do on the channel without you. As of the time of recording this video, we've reached over a thousand patrons, which is absolutely mind blowing for us. Like we, we thought that might take you know a couple of years in the making. So yeah. to reach that in our second month of Patreon, the support from everyone in the Game of Thrones community, both on YouTube and on Patreon, has just been mind blowing. So a huge thank you to you guys for all the support. It's awesome, and it is going to allow us to start to produce better content and more content as we go on. So we're really excited and looking forward to that. If you are interested in checking out our Patreon, check out the link in the description. We do have ad-free reactions, early access to upcoming reactions, as well as full length uncut reactions. So if you're interested in any of those, you'll find them in the link below. For those of you over on YouTube, if you enjoyed today's reaction, remember to leave a like, let us know in the comments down below what you thought and hit that subscribe button so you're up to date with all of our future uploads. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's get into it. Out. Right oh, where we left off. This is right after. Bastard's been meddling where he shouldn't. Damn, he belted him. And you will make this right. He wants to kill him. We're outside. Look, Commander. Now! Holy moly. But I don't think the guy even has an army. He's just got women. So why are they letting him tell them what to do? He must be. A he must very control a lot of things beyond the wall. Damn, he's gonna get a scolding, dude. He's gonna get a belting. Lord Commander, leave us. Oh, Sammy. You don't understand. He's killing them, all the boys. He, he knew. You know. Oh, Mormon. Those boys are just as offerings. Offerings? He's murdering his own children. He's a monster. Oh, many a time, that monster's been the difference between life and death for our rangers. Damn, that's why they need him. Wow. Like it or not, we need men like Craster. Okay, so that's where he comes into this picture. The realities. Yep, necessary evil. So what? Something to eat that child. That'd be so frightening. Whatever it was, I dare say you'll see it again. The realities of the Night Watch. How did he get that beaten up by that old man, Don't Midget? Don't lose it again. 
Oh, that was a sword he gave him. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sammy. Don't help her. I don't want to lose you too. I think at this point they're leaving. It's probably too late. I wanted to give you something. Belong to my mother. Nah, dude, that's a big gift. We just met. Oh, Sammy. Do you reckon they might have a future relationship? She'd let me sit with her in a chamber while she sold and my father put a stop to it when he found out. So his father was pretty tyrannical. She gave it to me before I left for the wall. Oh, You shouldn't give it away. You I'm shouldn't. not giving it away. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> he spoke it to her like once and he's already fallen in love with her. I know. <laughs> Till I come back. Oh, that's Sammy's little romance. Oh, he's so excited. <laughs> <laughs> he has such a, like, genuine heart. It's like he's got a big kid, you know? Yeah. I love it. This is a dream? Yeah, it's a dream. <laughs> the hell? He was a dire wolf in the last one, remember? I'm running through the godswood, sniffing the dirt, tasting blood in my mouth when I've made a fresh kill. Interesting. Old Nan used to tell me stories about magical people who could live inside stags, birds, wolves. It was brand magical. Well, they may have done, but they're gone from the world. Probably not. These are dreams, Bran. Nothing more. No. My dreams are different. Mine are true. Ned's death. Interesting, yeah. He definitely has like the prophecy thing about him. I do like the old man. My Sullivan. This link is made of Valyrian steel. Only one maester in a hundred wears it on his chain. Oh. It signifies that I've studied the higher mysteries. You saw that in the law video. And what boy doesn't secretly wish for hidden powers? Yeah, boy. But in the end, for all my efforts, I got no more out of it than a thousand boys before me. It's frustrating, like, not having someone that fully understands. Yeah, because he knows that there's truth to what he is seeing, but he needs someone to help him through it. The dragons are gone. The giants are dead. And the children of the forest forgotten. I wonder if we'll meet the children of the forest. That'd be interesting. I think that was, like, ages ago. I'm not Maybe sure. Maybe they're gone. Yeah. The dragon's definitely not dead. But all these things we wouldn't have known unless of, you know, the lore video. <laughs> That's oh, Renly. Right, so he really is pulling himself the king. Everyone's just become their own king now. If Renly teams up with Rob, that would be powerful. <laughs> She's very passionate. Ooh. Yield. I yield. Tell me he doesn't respect it. I know. Oh, it would have been a very Game of Thrones thing to do. I wonder who's in this one. I feel like it'll be a reveal. Right. Remove your help. Here we go. Oh, it's a woman. I ask the honor of a place in your king's guard. Interesting. Oh, wow. Why would you want to be in that position? I get it's honorable, but. So the wife's just the front, yeah, because he was gay, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Interesting. I love how everyone's become their own king now, like. Sent as an envoy by her son, Rob, Lord of Winterfell. Lord of Winterfell and king in the north. <laughs> yes. Yeah, baby. Some respect on his name. You are very welcome here, Lady Stark. I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, me too. I swear to you, I will see the Lannisters answer for your husband's murder. Yes, because he was wanting to help Ned. I'll bring you Joffrey's head. Bring it to me too, brother. Bring it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bring it to me, brother. Bring it to me. Hang it on my wall. <laughs> Renly looks a lot more stronger now. It's funny. He's really worn in this title of king. Like, he feels like a whole different person to the one we saw season one. He does, doesn't he? Now he's a lot more confident and reassured, you know? Finally, Catelyn is, you know, not being too rash yeah. with her she words. Yeah, I think she learned after Ned. I pity them. Why? Because it won't last. Because they are the nights of summer and winter is coming. Mm, true. Interesting. He didn't like that. If it please you, Brienne's enough. I'm no lady. Is that like a future Arya? Lying bitch. It's not my fault you didn't recognize me. 
recognize you. How could I? I did. <laughs> I wanted to see who you were first. <laughs> and I did. Interesting. Interesting. Now we'll find out. While he's tangling with the lion in the Westerlands, the North is ripe for the taking. That's the opposite of what he uh, wanted. Oh my God. Damn. Catelyn was right. Yara, my daughter, you'll take 30 long ships to attack Deepwood Mott. You'll take a ship to raid the fishing villages on the stony shore. Damn. You give her 30 and I get one. The sea bitch. We thought she'd be perfect for you. Oh. Damn, they're pretty spiteful. You won't give up the North so easily. They won't even know we're there until Do you know of it, late. woman? I'm a proven warrior. Your brothers were warriors. Both of them dead at the hands of those you seem so eager to protect. They treated him well, to be fair. If we pledge fealty to them, they'll give us Casterly Rock. What are our words? Yeah, what are they? We are ironborn. We're not subjects. We're not slaves. We do not plough the fields or toil in the mine. We take what is ours. Yeah, they're very proud people. Your time with the wolves has made you weak. Damn. This didn't go as planned. That'd be hard you to hear. You if I volunteered to go. You gave me away, if you remember. This is what I was saying. Yeah. After he crushed you, did you take what was yours then? Well said, man. Well bloody said. Put him in his place. That was my point. Your last boy! You gave me away like I was some dog you didn't want anymore. Yep. And now you curse me because I've come home. Yeah, spitting facts, man. Spitting straight facts. But when I say it, you're like, no, 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 no. I would have mocked him for six. <laughs> no, I just respected why he was initially behaving the way he was. I have no other family. Don't you? He does. He does, yeah. Interesting. I want him to be with the Stark still, you know? Yeah, 100%. I don't think he'll betray them, but again, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Cleaning pots? Is that how my lion wants to see me? Your lion wants to see you alive. We've come to a dangerous place. That's a fair point. Yeah. She'll look for any weakness she can find. She can't know about you. How is being a weakness a compliment? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're Tyrion's weakness. <laughs> oh. I mean, I like the fire about her. I don't mind it. But I mean, she signed up for it. What does she think was going to happen? I know. I think she just had this ideal outlook without knowing, you know? We haven't seen much of the siblings. Mother says I'll have a new gown for the ceremony and another for the feast. But yours will be ivory, since you're the bride. That's her nightmare now. No. The princess just spoke to you. Pardon your grace. Aww. I'm sure your dress will be beautiful, Marcella. Yeah, it's hard for her. Her naivety is definitely gone. The reality of the world's come in. Is Joffrey going to kill Sansa's brother? He might. Would you like that? What question is that? No. I don't think so. I like him. Even if he does, Sansa will do her duty. <laughs> don't you, little dove? Oh, Cersei. Ugh. She's horrendous, man. I feel so bad for Sansa. Yeah, well. In this foreign place with these horrible people. Who are you? I'm Shamey Lady, your new handmaiden. Oh, her. She might be good for her. She's got a bit of a spirit. Yeah. Change my linens, wash my clothing, scrub the floor, empty my chamber pot, brush my hair. Okay, this is a bit demanding right now. No. You said to brush Not your- now. <laughs> How confusing. But in this city, handmaidens wait on ladies, not the other way around. And I don't have time to answer a thousand questions and teach you how to do your job. I guess she's emotional, but she's a bit bitchy about it. Yeah. She's struggling. I guess she doesn't want to be close to anyone as well. She can't trust anyone. Yeah, I get that. I get that. She's lashing out where she can because yeah. she can barely speak her mind in this bloody kingdom. Oh, thank the gods. I haven't had a proper shit in six days. <laughs> uh, the stresses of power. Often have this um, <laughs> insalubrious. Stand up straight, boy. I reckon Tyrion will get onto it. He reads people well. Well, thank you, my lord. Yeah, he's onto something there, you can see. But the queen mustn't know. I can't have her 
meddling in affairs that could determine the future of the realm. Is he testing him? Sounds like it. I shall be silent as the grave. Yeah, okay. I'm brokering an alliance with House Martell of Dawn. Yeah, I feel like this is a setup. The Queen mustn't know. Oh, I was telling all of them, yeah. Yeah. I love conversations that begin this way. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do, Varus. To Theon Greyjoy. So whichever one gets back. Okay, smart. So he knows little differences, yeah. <laughs> I like Varus. But remember, you must tell no one. <laughs> Who else tell is no next? One. What? I plan Pickle. to wed Princess Marcella to Robin Aaron of the Vale. <laughs> But will everyone in the council talk? The old man seems to be the obvious one to talk right now. Yes, I could sing this song to Lysa, if I cared to. Here we go. What's in it for me? The gratitude of the people of Westeros for helping to end this war. <laughs> I need you to deliver Lysa Aaron. I didn't need General Slint. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> They've both got the gifts of the gab, it's interesting. <laughs> the dialogues are great. You just love the back and forths. Oh, and remember, the queen mustn't know. <laughs> so he's seeing who he can trust here. Yeah. He's very smart, Tyrion. Yeah, the old man's definitely the one that's going to rat out, I reckon. Probably. To be fair, you never know. Oh, this is his prayer. Remember he wanted to go pray? I think this is what he meant. He doesn't look nearly as high and mighty when he's not in his king outfit. Yeah. He looks like season one again. It's a little boy. Well, his oh, oh, oh. He, was, he was the knight that was fighting. Yeah, the flower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't. Re oh, I didn't recognize that it was him in the fight because he wasn't as flowery in this one. <laughs> There's another Tyrrell that requires your attention. Damn. Telling him how it is. <laughs> oh, this guy's a little bit of a tease. Yeah. So that's his wife's brother. Does she know about their relationship? I'm not sure. She's pretty good looking too. I think so. It's a lovely gown. You think so? <laughs> I can't decide how I like it better. This way? <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes it better the other way. <laughs> beauty most desired is the beauty concealed. Yeah, so she has no idea. Doesn't look like it. She can feel he's soft. Yeah. <laughs> Surely she'll figure it out sooner or later. Yeah, I mean, he can't blame it on white all the time. I'm sorry. Do you want my brother to come in and help? Oh, she, oh, she know. knows. Well, he could get you started. I know he wouldn't mind. Or I can turn over and you can pretend I'm him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely girl. She's funny. There's no need for us to play games. Yeah, I feel like she's being sincere. Interesting. Okay. She's smarter than she looks. She looks pretty smart to me. I oh, know. She looked pretty naive to me until <laughs> this point. She has those big domey eyes, you know. Those childlike eyes. They want to tear us apart. And the best way to stop them is to put your baby in my belly. Ah, oh, she's mm. an ambitious woman. Mm. Yet another ambitious queen. You decide how you want to do it. With me, with me and Loris, however else you like. I mean, she's willing to do it with her brother. Yeah. Damn. Well, with can be interpreted in many ways in this show. <laughs> He's definitely a kid that gets a lot of self-esteem from others. He's not really a self reassured yeah. king. But I reckon he's good for her. Yeah. Oh, she's good for him. Do you really think I'll let you sell her like a common whore? Yes. I will not let you ship her off to Dawn as I was shipped off to Robert Baratheon. <laughs> <laughs> you won't get away with this. You think the piece of paper father gave you keeps you safe. Interesting. She's very vulnerable to his choices too. I cut a piece of paper too. Careful, Cersei. You cannot stop it. No! Is he going to tell her? Make no mistake. They'll mount her pretty little head on a spike right beside yours. Get out! Get out! Don't touch my Tyrion like that. Oh my god. I mean, he has just weirded off her child. I get... <laughs> no, I know, but she's done worse. I'm surprised he's not going to tell her yet. Maybe after he deals with the traitor. So who did he say Dawn to? I honestly don't remember, but I'm still going to go with the old man. Nah, nah, I don't... <sighs> Maybe. Well, Theon was to Varys. 
And I don't remember. Oh, and was... Aaron was to Littlefinger. So, so yeah, yeah well, it was by himself. <laughs> yeah, the boys old man. You know what? He deserves it, dude. He betray um Ned. So get rid of him. <laughs> Damn, Pycelle, I told you. I think I said it last episode. I was like, sneaky snake, Marcel. Oh, Pycelle. <laughs> the one bit of credibility I will give Cersei is that she does genuinely love her kids. Yeah. She does. As a mother, she's there. It's weird for me to see that power dynamic, though. I didn't think she's shown really that I'm in command always. For her brother to come in, be it even her brother, come in as a hand and organize this, for her to be like, it's not happening, she sort of feels like she's doesn't have a choice in the matter, which is interesting. Well, the thing is, with Robert, she could really, like, he was outside of the family. She could really go past all the, you know, all the little things. Like, Robert didn't know everything about her. Robert yeah. didn't grow up with her. Whereas She's only queen regent, right? So it's not the same as queen anymore. She's actually lost power since her husband died. Well, yeah. Yeah, so, true. I think, a, I think it's a matter of two. Yeah, that's actually a good point. And Tyrion knows when she's being manipulative, what will push her buttons, all these kinds of things. So that's always going to have a bit more of a power grab than, yep. than most. Rob, I hope this reaches you in time. So he is warning them. Theon, you're a good man. He's rejected the offer and plans an attack, yeah. But I think he's torn, you know? Oh. It would be very hard for him. I understand. I Interesting. I think there's going to be big growth for him now. He's going to make big decisions. I know. You would this day consecrate your faith to the drowned god. Oh, wow. This is really pledging his loyalty to his father. Yeah. Damn. Theon, your servant, to be born again from the sea as you were. Oh. Bless him with salt. I get it, but damn. I loved his relationship with Rob. Yeah. And with all the brothers, really. I really want to see him, John, and Rob together again. Because we really knew who they were when we saw that early on. Oh, Theon. Poor guy's crying. People who abandoned him and then people that took him in and loved him. I don't appreciate being made a fool of, dwarf. Oh, was, what? Stella marries the Martell boy. She can't very well marry Robin Aaron, can she? No. <laughs> I knew he'd pick up on it. Rob Stark will never release the Kingslayer. No, he won't. But his mother might. Why? How would you like to see your beloved cat again? Interesting. Gonna use him against cat. Filthy old stoat. Almost hate to interrupt. No, you don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Damn. Far out. What is the meaning of this? No, please, please. You disappoint me, Grand Maester. <laughs> I am your loyal servant. Yeah, yeah. So loyal that you told the Queen about my plans to send Marcella to Dawn. No, never. They're gonna butcher him. Ah, Varys. It was Varys <laughs> the spider. You see, I told Varys that I was giving the princess to the Greyjoys. I told Littlefinger that I planned to wed her to Robin Aaron. Oh! <laughs> All I did, I did for House Lannister. Always, your Lord Father, ask him. Interesting. How many hands have you betrayed, Pycelle? Oh. True. He, he knew the tr truth about, about, about the Queen and, and the way he, he planned. So he's the one who betrayed him. So you poisoned him? No, never. How can we believe you? Throw him in one of the black cells. Oh no, 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 please, no, don't, you can't do this to me. Yeah, so he's a snake. I knew it. So he's the one that betrayed Ned too. Oh, Tyrion. Yeah. I don't know, it sounds like he served the Lannister for a while. Maybe he was doing what he thought was right, but he sold out some good people. Yeah, I mean, potentially, but... Like, what are you doing? Like, someone asked you, someone high up asked you to keep something. Well, in fairness, it depends on who your allegiance is. It makes, it does make sense to me that your allegiance would be more to the queen. Yeah, if but you're... he's saying Lannister. Tyrion's a Lannister. Yeah, but she, I don't know. Look, yeah, but Tyrion's also a temporary hand. He's new. He's not very high respected. Like, if you had to bank your cards, don't get me wrong, it's like some alcohol get it. But if you had to bank your cards, would you not go with the queen who's by default loyal to the king? Or would you go to this 
hand after the hands of not doing too great, you know. I'm not justifying him, but I can see that it's the strong, it seems like the strong authority to side with if you're, you know. Yeah, uh, and I do believe. Oh, I don't know, loosely believe that everything he has done is for House Anastar because Maybe, yeah. if he's hiding Cersei's child situation, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. But yeah, I never liked him. Makes me miss King Robert, man. Like if only Robert was here, he would not stand for this shit. He was a real warrior. Now he's surrounded by all these phonies and fakes. And he knew everyone was like scared to, you know, step on his toes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And he had that confidence, which yeah. is nice. But he didn't trust anyone other than Ned, which is why he brought Ned in. And in the end, they both died. Such a shame, dude. Such a tragedy. I know. And Gendry said it last episode. I mean, the poor, the poor guy, every time the hand spoke to him and like dug a little deeper, they both died, which is sad. Rest in peace, Rob. Robert. Rest in peace, Ned. Sneaky snake Pycelle. You'll be pleased to know our mutual friend is doing quite well in Lady Sansa's service. One of my better ideas. And it seems the Grand Maester has found his way into a black cell. <laughs> <laughs> well played, my Lord Hand. Severus is on our side. Should I be worried? Janus Slint, Pycelle. The small council grows smaller every day. Council <laughs> has a reputation for serving past hands poorly. I don't mean to follow Ned Stark to the grave. He's playing a lot smarter than them, to be honest. But if it's swordsmen who rule... Why do we pretend kings hold all the power? Okay. Interesting. Interesting conundrum. Yeah. Power resides where men believe it resides. Mm. A very small man can cast a very large shadow. Interesting. I'm liking Varys more and more. Everyone has their philosophies around power, like yeah. Cersei did last episode, which said power is power, you know? I like his perspective on a lot of things, you know? That's almost mimicking Jon Snow staying up last episode, cleaning his sword. Uh, you know what? Drink it for the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Pills. <laughs> He's good. Now that I understand him, it'd be better. How do you sleep when you, when you have those things in your head? Mm. You didn't see that. I made damn sure. I close my eyes and I see them up there. Poor Arya. Standing there. Joffrey. The Queen. And... And my sister. And sister. Yeah, that's rough. <sighs> I saw my brother stabbed through the heart right on our doorstep. This world is so brutal. Willem, the lad's name was. I just stood there. Watching my brother die. Regrets of the past. You're going to a shock. I would think about him when I was working. When I was drinking, when I was having a shit. Couldn't get him out of your mind. Willem came riding back into town. I buried an axe so deep into Willem's skull I had to bury him with it. I wonder if Ariel will be the one to kill any of the Lannisters. Yeah. That'll help you sleep. I know. Eh? Huh. He, he literally ruined her sleep. I think sleep. he just realised. But it's nice that she can connect with someone too, you know? Can you hear that? There's a horn. Get up, you lazy sons of <laughs> so he's actually the one that warned Ned about Catelyn capturing Tyrion. I forgot that. I saw it in the comments. If things go wrong, you run, do you hear me? You run along north and don't look back. Damn. He's a good man. I take back what I said. I misjudged him. Yeah, I know. You were hating him. I, now I understand him better. I was grieving. I just lost Ned. Cut a boy some slack. Who are these guys? What an idiot. Drop your weapons in the name of the king. Which king will that be? This is your last chance. Damn. Please don't kill him as no starters like him. Oh. I don't think I will. <laughs> I love it. Oh. I always hated crossbows. Take too long to load! Nice! He can't take them all on. Where are his men, dude? Do they have any men? They all ran away like cowards. Far oh, out, dude. Just when I started to like him, man. Every time, dude, this show. Oh. Oh! 
Now they run out, dude. Go Gendry. Nice, Gendry can fight. He likes Arya. Or oh, Ari. <laughs> what do we have here? No! Oh no. Not Needle. Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. I yield, I yield. <laughs> Round up any survivors. We'll take them back to Harren Hall. Oh, look at how he died, dude. I reckon the people she unlocked are going to come and destroy them. Help me! Something wrong with your leg, boy. He saw the bull helmet. Don't say anything. No. You've got to carry me. All right. Oh. Shit. Ah, oh, we're out, dude. Brutal. Oh. We're looking for a bastard named Gendry. Well, he can't say anything. I reckon the fat kid will give it up. You want Gendry? No way. Well, she won't, obviously not. No. You already got him. Nice, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what I expected, yeah. He loved that helmet. Perfect. Well done, Arya. Very smart. Damn, she's have she's had to toughen up a lot, huh? Can't believe we lost our boy. And dude, someone said in the comments that I've got like the death speak or something. Like whenever I say, "Oh, surely they don't die," or something like that, or I start to like them, they die. It happened to me in House of the Dragon. Happened to me in this. Happens to me in so many of the anime I watch too. Like the guy that I started to like, yeah. gone. Just what? when I started to talk about that, I finally understand and respect this guy. And he's honourable and. You know, from your, you guys explaining in the comments a little bit more, I remembered we'd met him earlier, but I didn't remember him because there's so many characters. So he's been quite an honorable, loyal person to Stark since the beginning and to Arya. And then to go out like that, dude. I know, I know. I'm happy that I got to enjoy him more than what you did because, like, I liked him from the start. What I don't get is last time when they rejected the King's men, he had a whole bunch of warriors by his side. Where did they all go? Because last time he had warriors you know they were like his men they were helping him transport to the wall was that all gone this episode it was just all the people they were transporting so yeah i'm not sure he's a good warrior too he took out a number of them on his own he wasn't even armored up or prepared i know and that's how we lost him like that's atrocious i really do hope that they believe that that guy was genjuri i think there might be some holes later on when they go, oh, Gendry, black if, hair yeah, in they, that If they ball. bring the body, if they bring the body, then it will be holes, but at least it'll... But they still might be able to describe it. Oh, you know, he was blowing this out, whatever. So... And we still have the people that Arya just helped free at the end. We haven't seen them, but they might come in clutch and stop the rally up. So who knows? Yeah, that guy who talks about himself in like third person, I don't remember his name. It was like a weird name. He, he seemed, seemed intriguing. Pleased. Yeah. And very grateful. Like, oh, she actually helped, you know? Yeah, because I mean... They were dead otherwise. Everyone sees them as these low blow criminals and they probably are right. But for someone to acknowledge that their lives are worth saving, it, it's, you know, of course you're going to be grateful. Rest in peace to our boy Yoren. He will be missed. And true to Game of Thrones fashion, can't attach to anyone, and yet, of course, you're going to get attached because you look love the characters. So okay. you're pretty much going to get screwed over no matter how you look at it. And he was going to like start making his way into my like, maybe love list. He's definitely getting into my like list just as soon as he uh, got killed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I feel like there's a there's a change of the wind coming. A lot of the people we liked have just been getting manipulated and whatever. But soon the armies are going to start to strike back. They're going to start to see the people we hate dying too, which is cool. We already saw the old man traitor throwing him in. He, he got thrown Buy in. Cell. Like those, those cells are still so brutal when you think the about it. Cells, oh, yeah. like the dark cells, yeah. The black cells. Yeah, they're actually toned down in the series, but it, you know, apparently like they're just, they're brutal and they're, like you just, you might die of dehydration, of blindness, you come out damaged, all kinds of things happen. So yeah, crazy. Yeah, you go crazy just sitting in the dark, can't even see your own like hands. Yeah. So we didn't see Joffrey or Stannis at all this episode or Rob. So interesting. They sort of like have the pacing of the show. Some episodes will focus on certain stories and others, you know, it's really good world building and storytelling. Yeah. And it always leaves you wanting more. I mean, there's so many characters that we're focusing on that, 
you know, each story is quite intriguing and you don't really feel like it's like empty space, which is good. But my favorite character this episode was definitely Tyrion. Yeah, he stood out for sure. Even last episode, but this episode just building up, he's really showing that he knows how to play the Game of Thrones. You love that line, don't you? <laughs> You're probably better to describe it. Because yeah. saying he's witty or whatever is one thing, but he plays the Game of Thrones, even how much he's foreshadowed what a difference he's making as a hand compared to the last two hands. He's basically contrasting, as much as I hate to say it, because I prefer Ned, but he's contrasting that Ned tried to play it honorably and lost big time. Mm. Whereas he's getting out of all the weeds right now. You know, even Cersei's sort of at his mercy. Like, he's playing it really well. I really hope he doesn't have the same fate as the pre- previous two hands. I really don't. Like, I feel like it'd be, it's too poetic at this point. Like, it's been done. If he does go out, it'll have to be something different. Yeah, I do. I do hope so, because Tyrion's my man at this point. I feel like he's a survivor as well, so he'll, I'm hoping he'll last for at least a few seasons. But I mean, that was the focus of, I think it was last season, he is a survivor. Yeah, so far, but yes, <laughs> that doesn't hold a lot of merit in the uh, world of Game of Thrones. But we didn't see Daenerys at all this episode, so her too, yeah. are we finally going to get to see her come into her own soon, or are we going to still have to like follow that struggle? Not sure. I think mean, definitely struggle, until she finds a people, like she's just got a whole bunch of whatever, nobodies around her. Yeah. She needs to get an army behind her. So until she can demonstrate a dominance of power with her dragons, I believe is what's coming. And potentially, I mean, I'm seeing a big journey for her. If she could maybe, if there was three different tribes with dragons being so powerful, if they grow, if she can unite all, th- all three of them, I still don't understand how the Dothraki work. Uh, you guys have to explain, you know, whether they're just one people because last episode there was three different directions with three different tribes and they mentioned three different Carls, I believe. But if she could get all of them, which I believe with her dragons, she could become like the override ruler. She's got a big army to go to King's Landing with. Well, I think the point of sending them off was saying, you know, the Khaleesi or Daenerys has these three dragons um, and they came back with a head. You know what I mean? So it's got no merit until you see it. And Jorah, and J- I get it. And Jorah said like the Dothraki don't like following women, which I get as well. Like... You know, they've always had their ways in following the strength of a man, like the Carl. I don't think that matters. I think when she rocks up with with three dragons, not the size they are, but bigger dragons, I think everything you just said will just be mute. Well, even the promise of like those baby dragons as well, because uh, yeah, it's one thing saying it, but they've been gone for thousands of years or hundreds of years. So no one's, you know, going to believe it. People didn't believe they were real. So that's why exactly seeing those messages there has little, little weight. I find... Brand's dreams quite intriguing. Like they're just drip feeding it a little bit, but I wonder what kind of role that's going to play. I mean, even Rickard Stark, his youngest brother, also had those dreams where we're not focusing much on him and we're focusing, you know, a lot on Brand. But yeah, it's intriguing. Like him being the direwolf and digging up the dirt and sniffing the blood, I think he said, yeah. in the Woods of the Gods. Yep. Yeah, I've got nothing to interpret it with, honestly, just waiting for more. Yeah. But they've given him some sort of role now that he's, you know, he's disabled. They've given him the ability to sort of prophesize and making him relevant through that avenue mm. and, and see what that turns into eventually, I guess. I still personally don't get how John got belted by that <laughs> man. Like, he's a proper warrior, I don't know. I've made that bit of plot. I think but... he was caught off guard. So but... once that you get that one hit, then I don't yeah, know. But we did get explained a lot more interesting now, which is what I was saying in the intro today. I understand the importance of the wildling, those people, and the role they play. They're sort mm. of the bridge between keeping a lot of the White Walkers and potentially other things, keeping them away from the Night's Watch while they do their scouts and potentially keeping them alive. So... That's interesting. Well, the Night's Watch and beyond. Although it definitely seems like they're losing control because obviously more of their men are dying lately. So whatever the Wallings are doing, who knows? Well, that might be why he marries all of his daughters and, and has children. It's a higher chance of more male, like males being born. And then they can, you know, keep giving those males. Do you know Maybe. what I mean? The real question is though, why do they want the males and what purpose does it serve? That's what I'm intrigued yeah. by. Is that how they create their people? Because we've seen they can sort of bring back the, the dead. So they sort of kill them and then turn them into... White Walkers or do, is it But why Irishman? males? Because, <laughs> because the first episode of season one, there was a female one. It was alive, yeah. Yeah. So interesting. 
Maybe that wildling girl, I can't remember her name, the one that hangs out with Brandon Hodor, has a lot of information on her. I mean, she seems to know a lot about a lot. Do She's you know wiser I mean? than she seemed initially, yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess living beyond the wall, you're not really that naive to these things. You've gone through the hardships. You're you're traveling around. You don't really have like a home. You're going to see a lot in your lifetime. Yeah. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you haven't already, leave a like on the video and hit that subscribe button so you know when this episode comes out. Until then, take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys.